I'm Tony Sklar with BNET TV. Ah, we are here at the Broadband World Forum in Amsterdam for 2012, and I am having the pleasure of speaking with LAN Labs, Mr. Harvey Mary. How are you? Very good, thank you very much. Excellent. Listen, for all the people out there in BNET TV land, why don't you give us a brief overview of LAN Labs and what you're doing here at the Broadband World Forum? So LAN is a lab specialized in interop. What we're doing is that so we define ourselves as an interop catalyst on emerging uh, new ecosystems and this ecosystem could be like uh, in access networks, uh, smart home and smart grids. And what are you doing here at the Broadband World Forum? We are here to support our partners within the Broadband, for Broadband Forum and basically we are the certified official lab for certification on GPON products. So what makes your certification process better than, let's say, some of the other organizations that are out there? Is it a set standard at this point? Are you the only organization that can do it? We are the only one that can do it. We have been chosen two years ago. What we did, uh, we made like a beta phase about uh, 11 months ago. And then we launched the process with uh, Broadband Forum. And we are now the only one. And we are continuously trying to build up new services for our customers. So tell me, expand a little bit more about what, um, what the GPON certification is and what it means to the end consumer. It means that so it will open up the market, more choice. You've got uh, you know, the service providers that would like to have new products and you've got the vendors. And what it means for the market is bring up a new global market because everybody can stick to one rule or one set of standards and then we are making sure that the products that have been certified are able to start together. So you know it's, uh, it's great that our industry, the technology industry as a whole have come up with our own sets of standards and policies and management systems and again certification programs and being a real true self-regulatory uh, organization. It's non-governmental controlled although they do have a sense of oversight and um, they're obviously we as a, an ecosystem continue to keep them involved to make sure that the standards are ubiquitous across the, the, the playing field but we allow for a lot of open architecture so within the certification standards how does something change? Oh, it's changing a lot. So, I mean, we've done, gone from a, a past which was like private research in firms. People or companies were doing their private research and they were developing their own products and trying to compete. And now we're moving from this to a more open research, a collaborative environment. And basically, they all understood that making sure it's working together and providing their own inputs to the global community and then re being rewarded at the end by their own peace, it makes it better, better for all of them rather than doing their own stuff by themselves. Uh, what, uh, what was the news that you just announced? We just announced that we are now ready for full service. We've done certification, we're only one, but also we are launched new services in line with the vendors and vendors are now able to be pre-certified and develop uh, service, develop, I would say, their own uh, vision and pre-certification bef before the whole stuff. And uh, uh, finally, um, Javier, what, uh, why is it important to be involved with the Broadband World Forum? Why is it important to attend conferences like this? It's important because basically that's now where the f all things is happening. Uh, you cannot be, as I said, uh, alone on yourself, develop your own products. You have to cope with the, the community standards and if you listen to the big operator service provider in the world they will all comply and ask for you know certified products which means that uh, everybody needs to be in the in the game people who want to vendors and partners and uh, um, uh, companies that want more uh, information on the GPON certification program how do they go about getting that they can just contact us or Bob and Forum and we, we can provide information they can be you know even they are, if they are you know, pro service providers willing to, to put certified uh, ONUs in the tenders, they just have to call us. Or if vendors would like to compete on these global tenders, then just uh, contact us again and we provide information. I have one last question. Yes. Um, I, I always have one last question. Um, uh, the broadband series as a whole has different conferences around the globe. 
Um, and the organization visits different geographies around the globe to talk about its standards and certification processes. Correct, correct. Are the standards and certification processes right now for the GPON certification arena, is it different for different countries or is it ubiquitous globally? It's global. It's a global, uh, and that's, that's the beauty of the program. For a, a vendor to be able to develop products which are cert certified and that are able to be proposed to any service provider in the world. And that's basically what we are providing. One unique point of contact globally. It's, uh, it's a purity of an organization. I really appreciate it. Ave, thank you very much thank for taking much. For the opportunity. We'll get an update again in the future at the next conference. Thank you very much. I've been speaking with Ave Marie uh, of, uh, here at the Broadband World Forum in Amsterdam for 2012. And I am Tony Slar with BNet TV.